I am back! <laughs> uh, so I'm finally back doing pregnancy updates. Um, Desmond and I are also vlogging over on our vlog channel. I will link that in the description below. Um, but I'm finally back doing my pregnancy updates. I have missed doing them so much. Um, things have just been kind of hectic and that kind of thing. Um, this is going to be my 25... If I'm looking down, it's because I wrote everything excuse me down so I wouldn't really forget um, so this is gonna be my 25 week pregnancy update I think the last one that I did was nine weeks so I might upload one maybe next week or maybe even this week of nine through the 25th week because things have been really hectic Desmond and I have moved I've been in and out of the hospital um, things have just been kind of crazy so this week I'm just gonna update on um, I guess I would be updating on my 24 weeks actually so this is my 24 week because um, I'm 24 weeks and I think like uh, six days or something like that I don't I don't know so I'm just gonna update on my 24th week what things have been like because I'm soon gonna be 25 so we'll start with my 24th week um, and how things have been going um, and if you guys want to continue watching then just stay tuned so first um, we'll get into symptoms and symptoms that I've been having my 24th week um, of this pregnancy um, so something that's been picking up a lot and I know will only gradually get worse from here is using the bathroom a lot um, like peeing I'm peeing so much I am drinking so much water um, and I think that could, you know, kind of be adding on to it. Um, but that is definitely something that I've noticed that has picked up. And during the night, um, I used to just go once, maybe twice. Now I'm going like three or four times. So um, that leads me to my next, which is restless at night. It, I, it's so hard for me to get like a full night's sleep anymore. Um, I think I'm going to get one of the like full body p pregnancy pillows. I think that might help. Um, my back is starting to pick up. Um, with the pain and stuff like that, I am going to start doing physical therapy um, here soon. Um, my doctor recommended that and thought it would be a good thing. Um, she also gave me a back brace. Um, I didn't get it, so I can't show you guys. But um, it's just something that kind of gives me support on my stomach and it kind of helps my back. Um, it does help. It's really uncomfortable. And here in Indiana, it's been really hot. So I haven't been wearing it, you know, much. Just kind of when I'm in the house lounging around because um, it is hot but that is uh, something my back has literally been killing me so it's definitely made me like more lazy I guess you would say here lately just because I don't want to do a whole lot because of the pain I'm in for my back um, but you know it's all worth it so the next thing is headaches um, I have started to get headaches a lot lately um, and that's one of the reasons kind of I was in the hospital you know at the beginning of my pregnancy um, I have pseudo tumors pseudo tumor salivary which is like a fake break, brain tumor that holds fluid and causes just absolute awful headaches because it's holding fluid so it's a bunch of pressure in my head um, so those have gotten you know really bad um, I'm only allowed to take 10 Tylenol a month so it's kind of something that I've been having to deal with um, and so that again leads me to being a lot more kind of lazy um, lately just because I'm not you know with the headaches and my back hurting and being so hot I'm not really wanting to get out a lot um, but you know like I said it's all worth it um, another thing is cramps in the back of my legs and they hurt so bad like my foot will go like like this um, and I'll have to like sure to straighten my foot out and it's like all the tendons and muscles in the back of my leg are just like all cramped together like this and it hurts so bad I cannot even explain how bad it hurts um, so that's something that has really picked up a lot lately, which I hope that will go away soon. Um, I've started taking, I think, more magnesium. Um, so I heard that was supposed to help. So hopefully that will help and kind of calm those down. I'm praying to God that it does. The next thing is I've been feeling Berkeley move so much. Um, so that's something. She has been just on the go a lot. Um, sometimes it will kind of hurt because um, I do have a cyst on the left side um, on my left ovary. So sometimes I can feel like maybe she's like bumping into it or maybe kicking the cyst. I, I don't know what's going on but sometimes I'll, I'll get some pain from that. Um, I have had some Braxton Hicks contractions um, this kind of past week and the, they actually started around like 21 weeks I think so um, that's another reason my doctor gave me uh, that brace for my back I guess it 
cut help or is supposed to reduce them or something. I'm not really sure. Um, but that is something that I have been having and they, they don't really hurt. Um, they're more just like a mild kind of period cramp, but they, sometimes they do get to the point where they're hurting me. The next thing is my weight. Um, so this is kind of tricky. So, uh, my starting weight at the beginning of my pregnancy was 239, 239 pounds. Um, and then when I got sick and I got into the hospital and things were not going well, I dropped down, uh, to 207. So... Uh, you might as well say kind of my starting weight at like 10 or like 12 weeks, I guess you'd say was 207. Uh, and now I'm back, to, uh, now I'm up to 242 pounds. So my doctor is saying, you know, really technically I've only gained three pounds because they're going off my starting weight as 239 and me now being 242. So that is going good. Um, I have noticed my stomach is starting to get a lot, lot bigger. I'm having so many stretch marks. Um, so I, I can feel now I'm starting to gain, you know, weight. I'm starting to put it on. Um, I have a doctor's appointment coming up on August 8th. So I will know if I've gained these past four weeks or, or anything like that. So I'll update that um, in next week's pregnancy update. Or the two week. Uh, so 27 weeks, I think. 27, 26 weeks. I'll update you guys on that. On really how much I've gained up to 26 weeks. So at my next appointment, I also have to schedule my glucose test um, and my Rogam shots because I do have RH negative blood. So starting 28 weeks, I do have to start Rogam, um, which I guess that's just something that all pregnant girls have to do whenever they're RH negative. I'm not really sure. Um, so that's something that I need to schedule. I kind of said her name here and there throughout this vlog or video, um, but we are naming her Berkeley Joanne. I'll put the spelling right here on the screen so you guys can see how I'm spelling it. It's B-E-R-K-L-E-Y and then J-O-A-N-N, -N. Um, but I'm capitalizing the J and the A. Um, and then she's going to have Desmond's last name, obviously. So now I'm going to show you guys a couple things that we've gotten her. We have gotten her so much stuff. Uh, it's it's crazy. I honestly don't really even have anything left uh, for anyone at my baby shower to get. Um, we've kind of went overboard, but that's okay. Um, I just want to show you guys a couple of things that I absolutely adore that we've gotten. So, uh, yeah. One thing, Desmond and I um, went to kind of a special ultrasound place up north of where we live and we got a special ultrasound done and I also rented a fetal Doppler so we can hear her at any point um, that we want. Um, and then we got this bear. Sorry if you hear that in the background. It's Des out there cooking. But um, I also got this bear and it has her heartbeat in it. You guys can kind of hear that. So this and then we also got a bunch of pictures done which I will insert here. So those are the um, 40 pictures that we got done. They're so cute. One, she has her hands up and she's kind of like praying. I think that one is the most cutest one ever. Um, but here are some things that I want to show you guys that we've gotten. So Desmond's grandma actually made this quilt. Um, and it says Baby Gilbert 2017. I absolutely adore it. On one side, it's little frogs and it's blue. This is before we uh, found out her gender when she made this. And then it's just little ducks on this side and it's green. So... I think that is absolutely adorable. Um, this is a robe that Desmond picked out and I wanted to show this. I thought this was absolutely adorable. It's got these little ears, like cat ears. Um, and it's a little robe. It is so soft, so I really like that. Um, this is something that I got her. I think, yeah, this is three to six months. But honestly, she already weighs two pounds. So my doctor kind of told me to expect to have kind of near an eight to nine pound baby. Uh, since I am just now six months and she, I still got three months to go. So I thought this one was really cute. Um, it has little stars and moon on it. I thought that was adorable. And these little um, charm or whatever you would call these right here. And then this, I think this is absolutely adorable. Um, it's Jessica Simpson brand and she makes such cute stuff. I guess this would even be called a romper. Um... The next one is this little nighty. 
Um, and it has these little feet and then it also has the matching hat. And I think that is so cute. Um, this is also three to six months. I have a ton of newborn stuff. Um, but recently I, we've just quit buying newborn or zero to three because we have so much. And I don't know her weight, what her weight is going to be. And most of this stuff that's already three months, I feel like she may be able to honestly fit in when she's like two months or a month or she may even be born and have to be right into them just because of how much she's already weighing and how much she's kind of predicted to weigh. So, um, we also, my mom, she wears, um, like nightgowns and like night sets that match. So I found this one. This is also three months. Um, and this matches and it has these little booties and it's like this. So I figured this with like a white onesie would be for like a lounge day. It would be absolutely adorable. Um, I also got this jean jacket. Um, and I plan to pair it with this. So this we I got at a local fair. Um, it's like a little dress. has a little bow right here. It is seriously the cutest thing. Um, but this with this is so... I, oh my god, it is just so cute. So, um, I also have ordered her coming home outfit. Um, once that arrives, I will show you guys. It's a onesie that says, all because two people fell in love. And then it's like a little uh, short, or kind of covers the diaper. It has little ruffles, and then it's got the matching headband. So, that's really cute. Um, and that is really all um, that I wanted to talk to you guys about. So, like I said, I guess this will be my 24-week update. Um, and then my next week will be my 25th week because I think I experienced the week and then I tell you guys about the week. So that's kind of how we'll do them. So the next week will be my 25th week update. Um, so the title of this will be 24. Um, I'm so glad to be back and making videos. Like I said, Desmond and I are vlogging again. So I will link that channel in the description below. Um, we have an, uh, a Twitter that is together. So if you guys want to follow us on there, um, that's even where I'm going to interact for this channel. So I will also link that in the description. I plan on making an Instagram for both of us, um, you know, to interact with all of you guys and stuff like that. So once I do that, I'll also be listing that. Um, but for now, that's all I have. So I'm so glad to be back. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notifications so you can always see whenever I upload. Uh, give this video a big thumbs up and I will see you guys next week. Bye!